Now this is Hillview Regency. We're heading up to one of the highest high-rise condo enclave right here. Within the Hillview condo bell, and we'll bring you to the top floor unit. to look at the three-bedroom unit that's fronting towards a panoramic 270 degrees view. Follow property members on this home tour. Let's go. Alright, so welcome to Hillview Regency. We are bringing you right on to this beautiful three-bedroom unit and I'm standing right now at the highest point right here in Hillview Regency condo. And this is the view that you get if you own a top floor unit like this one. And uh, this is the best orientation that I can see right now because right on my right-hand side, that's Bukit Bato Nature Park. On the left-hand side, if you've not been to the little Kuiling Lake with the very beautiful scenic quarry, you definitely cannot miss that. And of course, you can get to enjoy that every single day the moment you own this top floor beautiful 1109 square feet three bedroom unit and we're going to talk more about Hillview Regency because this condo right here has one of the highest level in terms of popularity and transaction volume for the past 15 months the reason why we're able to enjoy this view is of course firstly you're on the top level secondly this is along the entire Hillview condo enclave and later we're going to dive into the three rejuvenation that are happening around this beautiful triangle right here namely the railway corridor Secondly, of course, the massive transformation happening just right across us at Beauty World MRT Station. Thirdly is, of course, the entire Hillview Belt is undergoing transformation over the next 10 years. This project, developed by Far East, a total of 572 units, completed in 06. And uh, right now, in terms of its facade, it's beautiful in the sense that you still get to see that modern infrastructure and beautiful architecture in combination with a feeling that you're coming back into like a hotel resort every single day. This is a 1109 square feet and out of 572 units right here in Hillview Regency is that you have a combination of 2 bed, 2 plus study, 3 bedders and 3 plus study. In totality, 3 bedders has one of the highest density with about 300 over different units. On this huge plot of land, you have 4 different towers, a total of 24 different stacks. So every tower, every level bears 6 stacks on every singular level and you will also be surprised that every singular level gives you 3 passenger lifts. And, uh, uh, you definitely have no shortage of lifts serving every single resident here so you don't have to worry about the clock up effect during busy days and uh, going to work and coming back from work you also have beautiful landscaping in totality four different barbecue trellis you have a children's pool you have a leisure pool you have a main pool sitting right in the middle with beautiful facade you also have four different tennis courts and uh, two of the tennis courts are sitting on top of the multi-story car park two are on ground level you also be surprised that you get to see this very unique unique feature is that you not only have a golf putting range, you also have a golf driving range as well within your own condo and you have a half basketball court plus an adult's workout area. So in total, you have that full-blown facilities that your family gets to enjoy and that is one of the upside of owning a project that's sitting on a huge land. Though we are sitting on a huge land, there are technically only 4 towers and less than 600 units. Then what this means is that over the weekends, you're going to have a host of facilities and amenities that you don't really have to cram in with a lot of different residents compared to projects with at least 1,000 or 1,500 units and above. Another thing to note is that when we look at the north direction, you'll also be surprised to see that in terms of the height ratio of most of the projects right in front of us, they're of a lower height restriction level. And Hugo Regency is one of the rare projects sitting on this belt here with a higher plot ratio and that's the reason why we are standing at level 25 right now. So if you want to buy something that gives you this full height window facing while you're sitting at your living room area and this is the exact view that you're looking at and a bonus feature is that right in front of us is a pure landed enclave as well followed on by a mid-level density kind of a condo height restriction and then moving forward into the third tier when you hit midwood condo that will be the level 25 height ratio limit. And if you want to just take reference from the 
three 99ers project right in front of us. The first one is Miu Kondo. That 99er project is doing very well and is already transacting in the range of about 1006 plus upwards in terms of per square foot pricing. So to own a three bedroom right there, you minimally need to invest at least 1.6 plus to 1.7 million dollars. Now, Healer, also a 99er project by Far East. There are no three bedders right there because they are primarily one and two bedders. The project right behind, which is Kingsford Hillview Peak, that is doing at about 1004 plus per square foot. To own a three bedder, you need to at least about 1.5 plus to 1.6 odd million dollars. So when we track back to Hillview Regency, though this is a project that has TOP in year 2006, Tano starts from 2000. In terms of its architecture, in terms of the size of its land, you are entering into a project with a palatable entry price because you're buying something that is below 1.39 million. This is asking at 1.38. You're also getting something that's below 1250 dollars per square foot. And most importantly, you are getting a full size three bed, three bath with a beautiful enclosed kitchen, yard space, home shelter, and all the common rooms can even fit in a king size bed. Now let's flip back to look at the interior and we'll chat more about analysis later. As we walk through the home, the very first notable thing is that in terms of flooring, from day one, the developer has given full-on marble flooring for living, dining, all the way to the bedroom walkway. As we head into the bedrooms, those are done with solid timber on the ground. And uh, something to note about renovation ideas is that this entire wall can be brought down. So we're going to throw in some walkthrough rendering for you. When you bring down this entire wall, you can fit in a beautiful island, top right here in the middle. And this can then extend into a beautiful full dining space as well. So I'll leave that to you whether you want to do one of three options. One of course is to remain as a beautiful corner area for a dining bench. You can of course do a custom built sofa kind of uh, lounge version dining set. Put in a nice beautiful dining hanging light here. Build bottom shelvings in terms of your seated bench area. Put in a nice square table right here. You can still fit in another four movable chairs giving you a total of an eight seater right tight in this squarish corner. Second choice is to bring down just the top portion. Do it into like a glass mode with a see-through effect. So you still have like a bottom kitchen countertop space with internal built-in right in the back. And of course, have the see-through effect into a dining and living space. Third option is to hack down the entire thing, build out a full-on island, put in a sink right here as well. That will act as a double sink. And uh, this will then give you that open concept feel that you want to have. If not, if you want to remain as an enclosed version, the existing kitchen is already beautiful and squarish with a pocket window right at the side for ventilation. The bonus is that you'll be surprised. 1109 square feet gives you so much of built-in area. The key right rationale is because if we go by the modern context right now, if you were to go to another any new launch, let me just walk out a little bit again, is that the balcony space most of the time right now is about 250 square feet. So during this era, there's no popularity of balcony space, which is why you have that long living and dining feel that you get when you come for physical viewing. Just imagine if you were to put in like a 250 square feet balcony right here, technically your living area is only at about 900 square feet thereabouts or even less than 900 square square feet because the living area will then start from here with the sliding panel door. So without the balcony, actually it gives you a lot of luxury and importantly, you'll also be surprised that you still have like a full on huge yard zone that has a separator door and then you have the size for a home shelter as well for a storage space and you still have another yard bathroom right at the back. So this entire area is uh, fantastic in terms of the laundry. Like our owners have installed an automated system right at the top with a drying element. You can just leave that entire space as your laundry space. Even if you were to bring down the entire kitchen wall, it will still give you that very good feel in terms of your open kitchen concept. just love the way that the windows are being designed. I mean, and right from the outside, when you look at the facade of Hillview Regency, the moment you drive past this condo, you just feel that this condo feels majestic. It feels tall. The windows look perfect. It looks fantastic. And uh, you have two side panel windows that you're allowed to open up. And today is a rainy day, but too bad we can't stay for long because our owners give us some photographs because most of the time after an extreme rainy day, you get to see that beautiful rainbow that can spread into a beautiful arc right in front of you. I'm going to put out some photos right here. Ventilation is fantastic. Crosswind from the north, full blown inwards, come from the back of the house as well. So you're gonna enjoy natural breeze in the green lung part of Singapore. So 
Before we head into the bedrooms, we have to look at this entire enclave as a whole and uh, what are some of the future potential that you can potentially get. Now, one of the few key areas that a lot of HDB upgrading families will look at is definitely the Upper Bukit Tima and the Hillview Condo Belt. Now, why is that so? Is because the key reason is that we are firstly situated in a beautiful condo belt with a nice mixture of only private condominium projects as well as landed property. So, there's no mixture of HDB properties within this condo belt enclave. And that's very important because that will create a very nice, beautiful private property enclave within this entire zoning. And the important news is that Hillview MRT is already up and running. In future, there's going to be Hume MRT station as well. And that will connect to Beauty World MRT, which is going to be a transport integrated hub with a lot of shopping facilities. And you're also home within a kilometers to Bukit View Primary School, Keming Primary School, as well as Lianhua Primary School. And if you were to zoom out the map, we'll realize that actually the entire Hillview condo belt is being surrounded by a few key very important HDB townships. Namely to the north, we have the entire Bukit Panjang and Chua Chu Kang area. To the left hand side, which is towards the west, you have the entire Jurong East and West. And of course, Jurong is already one of the business hubs in Singapore. You also have the entire Bukit Bato and Bukit Gombak township. Meantime, I'm going to bring you through towards the three bedrooms here. But before you enter into the bedroom, you'll realize that there's also like a mini storage zone at this corner. So this is currently being utilized as a shoe cabinetry storage system. And just have a look at the amount of shoes that you can store right here. This is a DB box zoning. And then as you walk through, just like the way that the marble flooring extends all the way throughout here. So your common bathroom is located on my right. Standing shower plus vanity top, marble condition, water house flooring. They are equally well maintained and uh, as we flip over, I'm going to show the two common bedrooms. Now what we like is that the consistency of the full height panel windows throughout, that gives you a full blown view of your north facing orientation and uh, we also like the fact that the road lines within Hillview condo belt is not busy. Within this room, what you get is that currently it's fitted with so many different furnitures. Of course, you have a piano here, you have a nice uh, study desk with shelves and bookshelves and things like that. The three bed uh, wardrobe is still intact. Flooring, you can varnish it. Of course, uh, if you want to overlay with vinyl, you want to hack and change the flooring, that's based on your preference and design choice. But technically speaking, the size is something that you will get. And size is something that we can't change. Furnitures and renovation, we can change. Getting a bedroom with this size gives you a lot of flexibility whether you want to use this as a children's room with a double bunk you want to put in a queen bed here with side tables you have tons of different options when you get a good size common bedroom and flipping over i'm going to bring you to bedroom number three just have a look at this size this is like the modern day new launch project master room size and now you're getting this at a common bedroom size so this is a double bunk with a queen at the bottom and you still have so much room to move around and a three panel wardrobe system is right here all the way to the top so the top storage space allows you to put in your linens and blankets and stuff Daikin air conditioning which looks pretty new as well the property has been extremely well maintained by our clients now over here you're gonna see this side towards the Bukit Bato township so there's no direct blockage right in front as well so the beautiful thing is that all your three bedrooms and your living area they enjoy tremendous unblocked view an advantage point that you're standing right now is because we are also at a corner tower so the corner tower will then allow you this kind of 270 degrees panoramic view just because of the fact that we're at a corner stack within a corner tower. So I'm standing right now in the master room and master room is perfect. You have a huge two-door sliding panel wardrobe. Now this is the size of the three-door wardrobe that we see just now. It's just that it's being remodeled into a sliding panel kind of feature. And uh, currently it's fitted with a queen, two side tables. With the access space, you can go up to a king as well. And of course, the ensuite is also the highlight because you have a nice glass door that's been renovated by our clients. You have a long bath. Flooring will be marble, wall tiles perfectly maintained and you have behind mirror storage, vanity storage at the bottom as well. Standing shower right tucked in the corner. So in terms of space and in terms of the colour tonality, it feels a little bit like you're in a hotel.
Last but not least, let me just help you to calculate a little bit in terms of the monthly commitment if you are upgrading to a private project like Hillview here. So let's assume that both uh, you and your spouse are both working professionals, uh, drawing a salary at this range. And uh, if you were to take on a 75% loan, 25% down payment, which is comprised of 5% cash and 20% CPF, and of course, you have to take note of some entry costs like buyer stamp duty as well as legal fees as well. And 75% loan spread over 30 years will give you approximately 3,005 plus plus per month in terms of monthly installment. And that 3,005 plus, of course, can be serviced by both your working ordinary account CPF contribution per month at about $1,260 per person if you're drawing at least $6,000 per month per spouse. And with the cash top up, that will be at about $1,052 per month. And one additional plus point is, of course, the monthly MCST fee. And that is still below $290 because it's only approximately about $270 plus per month. And that is definitely a pure bonus because you're getting something with such full-on facilities and we love the combination of having the multi-story parking option as well as open space parking option as well as below shelter level one parking option for the residents as well. So if you want to have a look at this property, give a call to our listing managers and listing specialists, Alexa and Angela. They'll be very happy to share with you more about Hebrew Regency. And uh, once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. And uh, one, and the third one will be the railway. And the third one will be the rail. And the third one will be the rail road. Yeah, wait lah. Uh, rail road. Real, real, real. Is that a heating element? I think so. <sighs> to Hillview. <laughs> and 